In the remote northern Finnish town of Oulu, where he's lived for seven years, Syrian-born Jabo Walid says he's recently felt some people's attitudes towards him become less welcoming. Walid says this change came after police arrested nine people of immigrant background in the town last December over suspected sexual assaults of underage girls. The investigations, which are ongoing, dominated the Finnish media and sparked national outrage. My wife is Finnish. I have lots of Finnish friends, but if you walk alone in the streets or drive somewhere or go to a shop, then people really do look at you differently. I can honestly say it's not like before. Following news of the arrests, support for Finland's far-right anti-immigrant Finns party, which has lain broadly level for three years, started to rise. On the eve of Finland's general election this weekend, polls now put the Finns as the country's third or second largest party. Until recently, immigration was not a top election issue. Yet many other main parties have now also called for tougher measures on migrant crime, fearful of losing their voters to the populists. The Finns party, says one pollster, has turned itself into much more of a single-issue party than in previous years. There was this uh, emphasis on being anti-EU and also uh, also that they have more social issues than, than maybe, maybe now when the focus is more on, on immigration. In Oulu, where immigration was thrust into the political spotlight, many residents are unmoved by the Finns campaigning. The other big debates in this election have been healthcare, jobs and climate change. Some people are scared of having wind power here, but for me it's extremely important that we move to producing renewable energy. The Finns party has snatched a top three spot in the last two elections. And while the other major parties have expressed distaste at entering a coalition with them, few have ruled it out entirely this time round, wary that voters will deliver the populists one more shock election success.